Hello and welcome to this new series, the Working with Apps. Hello and welcome to episode one of Working With Apps. My name is Carl Pauline and in this brand new series, I'm going to show you the apps I use on a daily basis and how I'm using them and how they help me to be productive. And in this first episode, I'm gonna show you my favorite calendar app, which is Fantastical. Now, as far as I know, Fantastical is only available on the Mac and iOS operating system. So you Windows users out there, I do apologize. I don't believe it's actually available, or Android users, I don't think it's actually available for you. But this is how I'm using Fantastical. I'm gonna go into it in a second and show you how I use it. The purpose of doing this series is because I get a lot of requests from people asking me what kind of apps I'm using for various different parts of my working life. And I thought, well, this is a very good series just to go through. It won't be as long as my Todoist series, which currently stands at 122 episodes, or probably even my Evernote series, which is now at 70 episodes, simply because I don't use that many apps. But certainly I think we're good for about 10 to 15 episodes. So I'm gonna go through all the apps that I'm using one by one each week, and you can get a good idea of how I'm using them. And hopefully it will give you some ideas of how you can use them. And if you're not using them, it may give you some ideas of some fantastic applications that are out there built by some amazing app developers. Okay, before we move into the uh, into Fantastical, I just want to say, if you like this episode, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into it, Fantastical, and let me show you around and show you how I'm using it. Okay, so here is my Fantastical, and this is the layout of the actual application. And as you can see, it has a pretty similar layout to the Apple's uh, own calendar application. And I should point out that I actually picked this up, uh, uh, Fantastical, uh, up actually from my mobile device first. And on the mobile device, I shall show you in a moment, is really very special. But uh, from the desktop, one of the beauties of this, and there's many things, I don't use the calendar set. There is, you can set up calendar sets, and I'm gonna put a link to David Sparks's tutorials on this because he did loads of videos on how to set up Fantastical 2, which is the version I'm using. And for those of you wishing to take this into, actually go ahead and purchase Fantastical, then you may want to have a look at your calendars. But I actually just prefer to see all my calendars in one place. Now, um, actually, no, I don't, because that's going to start giving me all <laughs> my calendar set. I don't want to see the uh, birthdays. This is my basically the calendar that I have. So over here, you can actually change this. I can go into preferences. In view. I noticed that a lot of people prefer to have the dark um, sidebar, which is basically like that, which actually on my uh, <laughs> over here on my um, on my uh, sidebar actually looks really good on my laptop. But one of the beauties I've got here is my parents and my family all live in uh, the United Kingdom. Well, actually, they live in Ireland, which is in the time zone of GMT plus nine, as you can see up here, maybe. Um, and basically what happens is I've got my normal date. I've got my normal time down here um, and I can actually show um, a different time zone. So I can type in uh, Dublin. Uh, here, Dublin Island, okay, and what it's going to do on this side now is show me the time of day in Ireland, which is here, which is wonderful for when I'm communicating with my parents. I can do the same with yesterday. I had a call with a guy in Houston, Texas, so I can actually type in other, and I can do Houston, uh, USA, so okay, and I click on that, and it's going to give me the time, midnight, one, two, three, four, five, so it gives me the time of um, which Apple Calendar does not do. This is one of the reasons. Now, as you can see on my calendar, I can actually make this a bit smaller so I can see it all in one day. As you can see, I've got it all in one day now. 
I don't usually use this on my laptop, to be fair. I use this on my desktop, but I always record these videos using my laptop. So as you can see from here, I've got uh, all my appointments, but um, where I need to be. And as I mentioned yesterday in the Working With Work episode, if, it's, if I have to be in a certain place doing, uh, at a certain time on a specific day, then it goes onto my calendar. So as you can see right now, it's uh, getting up for seven o'clock. I've actually come down early today to record these videos. So I can actually just move that up to there. Um, and it's only gonna be this event. So it generally works nicely like that. But for me, the coup de resistance for using Fantastical is over here. Now, this is how I do my daily mini review at the end of every day. I've got Todoist open on the left, and I've got this wonderful drop down menu, which you get from here. So you click on that uh, up here on the, in the toolbar, and you get this wonderful little what we call widget uh, from. Fantastical, where I can actually go through the dates, the days that I'm, I've got coming up. So I can see what's coming up on my schedule for tomorrow, Sunday, it's only running, is the only event I have. I've got work to do, of course, at home. Um, so these things here are fantastic. Now, while I'm in this actual window, I'm going to show you uh, really one of the best things about um, using fantastic is that it's natural date parsing so let's just say uh, meet uh, Fred tonight at 10 p.m. for uh, for a beer okay so what you've got is meet Fred it doesn't bring in for a beer because it's not relevant uh, meet Fred at 10 p.m. for a beer it's brought it up automatically and it's brought in today so meet Ted Fred tonight at 10 p.m. for a beer it's all I typed and sure enough, everything's in there. I can add the event, I can change the calendar to personal, and I can just add the event. Bang, it goes in, and as you can see, meet Fred. That's the reason why I love Fantastical, and it's so, so good on the iOS device, uh, because it actually, on the iOS device, it shows you um, basically everything that you need to see and nothing more. It is such a fantastic application and that is the calendar app that I use every day simply because I suppose because of this view that you're looking at right now. It tells me everything I need to know um, when I'm doing my daily mini review. Okay, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you got some ideas. I can promise you Fantastical are not paying me for this. I have to buy it myself but that's okay because I'm perfect. I just love the application. Okay, thanks very much for watching this first episode of Working With Apps. I wish you all now a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.